Hello and welcome to my studio. My name is Tara Aaron and I am the artist in a cubicle. Today I want to share with you a brief insight from my 2022 uh, planning work. Over the course of the holiday break, I have had the opportunity to implement a full-scale model of David Allen's Getting Things Done. This is a personal productivity system that comprehensively covers everything that could be distracting you in the present and promises to have, help you have greater presence and focus uh, in the work that you do each moment of the day. So I was surprised as I got through the first phase of the implementation to find that I was experiencing a kind of low-level anxiety over the actual prospect of the success that I foresee that this could potentially help me to achieve. Now, of course, it could simply be that I was anxious that this is going to be yet another thing I'm going to try that isn't really going to help or make a difference. However, that didn't feel quite right. And what I realized on further reflection is that I'm actually had started to feel a bit of anxiety about, well, I don't even know yet if I can maintain this, um, much less if this actually does help me bring success, as I feel that it really can. Um, my gosh, uh, how am I ever going to handle that? Now, what I concluded from there, however, was that I really needed to think back about what David Allen himself says, that sometimes negative feelings can arise in this pro process, and that these are generally arising from the fact that each of the things in our inbox, or in my case, these um, amorphous future commitments that would be generated by potential success, these all represent agreements that we make with ourselves. And there are three ways to deal with those agreements and to make the negative feelings go away. We can either uh, cancel or not make the agreements in the first place. We can complete the agreements or we can renegotiate. So what I realized was that first of all, in terms of the future ones, there's no agreement yet to be made. It is an amorphous something in my mind. And so, if and when I get to that point, um, the old adage, cross the bridge when you come to it, right? When I get to such imaginary future state of success, and I hope I do, it will not be an amorphous thing. It will be concrete, and I will be able to identify the next actions, and actually, I have the tools to do that now in a really intelligent way that balances it with everything else that's on my plate. So this concept really reduced my anxiety. Now, um, <clears throat> this is the inquiry I'd like you to, um, to consider for yourself today in your planning process. If you're feeling any anxiety, um, is it because you're going a little bit too far ahead of yourself and getting into the future? And if so, uh, what might you need to consider to sort of bring yourself back into the moment? Because the other thing I realized is I am really, really excited about the potentials of this coming year. I'm really excited about where I am right now. Um, so excited that I actually just jumped on right now today to make a quick video for the Artist in a Cubicle podcast because, well, this is where my joy is. Here in the present is where we find our power, is where we can be really free from anxiety in the in being present to the opportunities of this moment. And knowing that we have the ability to deal with whatever the future may bring when it brings it. If you find this to be an intriguing talk, topic and would like to join me for a creative practice exploring the question of fear of success, then head on over to my Patreon page. Uh, Patreon is Studio Tara Aaron at Patreon and um, join at any level and you can join my weekly open studios on Wednesday nights. And for as little as a dollar a month, you can 
be a part of the Council of Muses Creative Mastermind. This group is particularly created with executive assistants in mind, uh, but really could be applicable for anybody who feels that they have creative potential with, which is untapped in their current situation and would like to find a way not only to develop their creative confidence and competence, but would like to develop it in support of the projects and dreams that they have uh, for their own personal and professional development. So again, that's Studio Tara Erin at patreon.com. The open studio is 7 to 9 p.m. every Wednesday night, Eastern Time. I hope I will see you there. Until next time, this is Tara Aaron, the artist in a cubicle.